Our traditions are more like the way we do things. So like we, um, in my family, we always opened all of our gifts on Christmas Eve. Our new traditions, which is William's family, is we go over there Christmas morning in our pajamas and it's really sweet. His mom like set, drops off like a set of pajamas for me so we all match. My favorite things to cook around the holidays are anything really fragrant. I think that one of the best things about uh, the types of foods you serve during the holidays are they just fill the whole home and it just feels like Christmas. So like, um, I love to make like a big pot of cider where you, you get the apple cider, apple juice and you mix in like all the spices and you just like let it simmer for a really long time because the whole house smells that way. I think one of the most important tips in Celebrate is just putting together a plan. Any sort of event is so hectic and there's just so many things that go into it. The more time you have and the more organized you are, the more you're likely to enjoy yourself. So it's just sort of putting together a schedule, plan, staying organized, um, that I think is the most important thing. You know, no matter where I'm trying to entertain, everybody ends up in the kitchen, no matter what. I mean, wherever the food and drinks are, that's where they'll be. So um, I end up, I guess I should say, I just entertain in the kitchen. I try and drag them to other rooms. I'm like, come on guys, like I've decorated this whole room, like they don't care. When William and I first moved in together, he moved into my apartment, which was very girly. And so when we got our first place together, it was, I definitely had to learn to compromise. I've never had to do that before. I mean, a little bit with my roommates, but I think it's good. I think that your home should represent both of you and both of your styles. So he definitely lets me <laughs> get away with some things. I mean, one thing that he will not part with and our compromise is it hangs in our garage is Velvis, which is a giant painting of Elvis on a piece of velvet. I think the thing about the holidays is like, it's the time to wear sparkle, but you can do it in a casual way. So I like doing, you know, maybe wearing a sequin top with jeans or kind of bringing a little sparkle in or a little color in with your shoes. So I think it's fun to get festive and I don't think it has to be over the top. You can kind of incorporate it into an everyday look. If you're someone who goes to a lot of holiday parties, I think that it's really good to invest in accessories because, you know, if you wear a little black dress, you can wear it to a couple different parties if you have like, maybe like a um, kind of cool embellished jacket or a statement necklace or um, you know maybe some fun heels one of my favorite items from my line is from my LC Lauren Conrad line at Kohl's and it is the faux suede jacket we did I love it because you can you can wear it with a cocktail dress to make it look a little more cool but I also like I'll wear it like running out it looks like jeans and a t-shirt it's just one of those really cool pieces it's like kind of chunky um, rose gold hardware on it so it makes it feel a little special but it's really wearable so I like that we did it in some fun new colors I admire a lot of people. Honestly, I admire people that take chances and are just really confident in themselves. I think that you have to be really brave to go after a dream. I have a lot of friends that are doing that right now and I, that's, those are the people I admire, I'm so proud of them. Thanks for watching, hope you had fun.